let's talk about the examples of a fiber created from dry and melt and weight spinning technology generally the polymer those can be melted they use the melt spinning method and fibers are created but a certain polymers cannot be melted at a high temperature so they need to dissolve into a relevant solvent every polymer has their own solvent into which they gets dissolved and forms a thick viscous liquid in this case cellulose acetate is our polymer which has a typical solvent named as acetone when both mix together they forms a solution a mixture of a polymer and a solvent this solution when pass through a spin rate filaments are generated these filaments solidified by evaporating a solvent from the filament by the application of hot air example of a fiber created through the dry spinning technology are cellulose acetate cellulose triacetate pvc is nothing but polyvinyl chloride pan nothing but polyacryl nitrile spandex and polyvinyl alcohol these are the examples these are the polymers these are the fibers those are created using dry spinning technology similarly wet spinning also requires the polymer and solvent each polymer has their own relevant solvent into which they gets dissolved completely once a mixture of a polymer and solvent is generated filaments are created through extrusion process here in wet spinning a created filaments gets solidified into a coagulating bath the coagulating bath contains a certain chemicals that helps to remove the solvent present in the filament in this case viscose fiber is manufactured through a polymer named as cellulose cellulose is dissolved into a sodium salt and xanthester a mixture of a polymer and solvent extruded and passed through a coagulating bath now coagulating bath that contains a sulfuric acid sodium sulfate zinc sulfate and a mixture of water these coagulating bath chemical helps in solidification process of a filament by effectively removing the solvent from the filament examples of uh, the fibers those used as the wet spinning methods are viscose modal cupra ammonium alginate certain regenerated fibers polyacryl nitrile polyvinyl alcohol then aramid fibers and spandex these are the certain fibers those uses the wet spinning technology once we understand the names of fiber created from the dry and wet spinning technology let's understand how solidification takes place in each of them starting with the melt spinning hot polymer extruded from the spinnerate that has a downward movement which is shown in this figure in this figure you can see the filaments move downward in this figure also you can see multiple filaments are moving downward and during its downward movement hot extruded filaments gets cooled off by blowing a cool air across the filament now you can see the cool air is blown across the filament this filament is actually a hot filament and cool air is blown across the filament the hot filament loses their heat due to the blowing of cool air meaning heat transfer takes place from hot filament into the atmosphere this is called as outward heat transfer now what will happen if hot filament is exposed to a cool air the the fiber loses its heat into the atmosphere so fiber is solidified it becomes cool and whatever the heat present in the fiber it gets um transfer into the atmosphere that is outward heat transfer now the filament lose all the heats and get solidified into a cool filament so uh in conclusion we can say 
in melt spinning in melt spinning solidification of a filament takes place by outward heat transfer that is one way heat transfer let's talk about how solidification of fiber takes place in the dry spinning in the dry spinning the mixture of solvent and polymer is extruded through a spinnerette now you can see that in this figure filaments are coming out from the extruded this extruded filament temperature is a nominal temperature you can say 50 or 60 degrees celsius the extruded filaments moves down as shown in this figure yes it starts moving down and during its downward movement hot air is blown across the filament hot air is blown across the filament filament is moving downward which is at a nominal temperature of 50 60 degrees celsius and hot air is blown across the filament now here we apply a hot air means inward heat transfer heat transfer takes place but inward heat transfer we apply the heat to a fiber so the temperature of a filament raises now the filament become hot at this temperature which is around 150 or 120 degrees celsius solvent which is present in the filament starts evaporating out the solvent which is present in the filament start evaporating out into the atmosphere that means solvent is moving from fiber into a atmosphere so here outward mass transfer takes place heat is utilized to evaporate the solvent that solvent we generally call as mass mass in the fiber so heat which is applied across the filament heats up the fiber to a temperature at which filaments solvent evaporates into the atmosphere so evaporation of solvent into the atmosphere takes place this means called as outward mass transfer filament solidified quickly and uh, uh, we can say these filaments are further processed so in general we can conclude that the solidification of a fiber in the dry spinning takes place by heat and mass transfer let's talk about the next spinning that is wet spinning in wet spinning solidification of filament takes place by means of two way mass transfer so in wet spinning which is a very similar like a dry spinning the mixture of a polymer and solvent extruded through a spinnerette here filaments are created inside the coagulating bath as you can see here the mixture of polymer and solvent moves down passes through a spinnerette and comes in contact with coagulating bath right the filaments comes in contact with a chemical present in the coagulating bath so the chemical present in the coagulating bath diffuses into the filament meaning the chemical those are surrounding or present in this coagulating bath they start to penetrate into the fibers that means we we actually forces these chemicals to move inside the filament that means inward mass transfer these filaments are moving okay and during its movement the coagulate the chemical present in the coagulating bath we call it as mass these chemicals starts diffused into the filament right that means one way mass transfer takes place the diffused chemical removes the solvent present in the filament now whatever the chemical those are present in this coagulating bath they start diffusing into the fibers so when they comes inside the fiber what will they get actually they force the solvent present in the fibers to move out along with them so the chemicals those goes inside the fibers they push the solvent present in the fibers outward so the solvent moves from fiber into a coagulating bath that means a second mass transfer takes place one way mass transfer is nothing but the chemical those are present in the coagulating bath diffused into the fiber 
and another mass transfer is done. Solvent present in the fiber moves out from the fiber and goes into coagulating bath. That means two way mass transfers takes place. Filaments get solidified quickly. So in general, we can conclude that the solidification of a fiber or a filament takes place in the wet spinning by two way mass transfer. Each spinning method has a certain advantages and certain disadvantages. Let's start with the understanding of both in case of melt spinning. Starting with advantage, first advantage is the process is simple and economical. The process doesn't have any kind of complication related to a chemistry and it is economical means the production of a filament takes place with a lesser cost. So its manufacturing cost is comparatively low. Second advantage is any production rate can be possible. That means you can run the machine at a lower speed. You can run the machine at extremely higher speed to match the requirement of production. Third one is no requirement of solvent and other chemical. Yes, in the melt spinning, polymer is capable of melt when we apply the heat. That's why there is no necessity of solvent. So no requirement of solvent and any other chemicals are needed. Fourth advantage is property of filament can be adjusted or controlled by suitable adjustment in the machine. Yes, the filament which is coming out from the mill spinning has a certain properties and those properties can be altered. One can want, for example, higher strength. So the machine can be adjusted or the drawing process can be adjusted in a such a way that high strength filament can be manufactured from the same machine. So the property of filament can be controlled and adjusted by just suitable adjustments in the melt spinning machine itself. The last advantage is the process is more versatile. Versatile means more flexibility. That means one can create a filament denier right from a uh, micro denier to um, few deniers, right? So filament can be as thin as micron and is, it can be as thick as a centimeter too. So the process is more versatile. Let's talk about the disadvantages of this melt spinning. Only thermoplastic polymers can be spun into the filament with a melt spinning. Yes, this is one of the biggest disadvantage. There are certain polymers, those are called as thermoplastic polymer. This is very important. Thermoplastic polymer, this is a norm. This is a name you actually come across the first time. Thermoplastic polymers, nothing but when we apply a heat to a polymer, they get melt into a thick viscous liquid. So the polymer, those has capability when they apply heat, when we apply heat to them, they get melt into a thick viscous liquid. So such a polymer known as thermoplastic name, we can split it. Thermo means heat. Plastic is nothing but uh, you can say elastic or you can say meltable. So when we apply heat, they get melt. So such a polymers are suitable for melt spinning. But certainly there are some polymers when we apply heat to them, they won't get melt. Right. So these kind of polymers are not suitable for melt spinning. Second disadvantage is higher solidification rate causes a poor structural development. Now, as we already know that this machine can run to a very high speed. So high speed is nothing but Mm, uh, filaments are quickly produced from a spin rate and they get quickly uh, cooled off. And this cooling uh, is with the help of uh, either cool air or cool water. So higher production rate and uh, quickly quenching, that is quick solidification, develops a poor structure. Poor structure means what we want is nothing but a perfectly a circular 
cross section rod like filament but in a higher speed what will happen that uh, the solidification takes place poorly and that's why structural development is not what as what we want next is maximum strength of filament cannot be achieved due to a poor structural development yes if we run the machine at slower speed and allow a filament to cool off by taking its own time and then whatever the filaments are created this has a perfect structural development and that perfect structural developed fiber can give you a high strength but it, what happens to a high speed melt spinning in the high speed melt spinning that solidification takes place uh, in a few seconds and that's why poor structural development takes place this poor structure will not have a sufficient amount of strength as compared to the fibers who is having a well developed structure next disadvantage is high wastage yes high speed machines produces the high waste and last disadvantage is accuracy of a temperature uh, cannot be you can say or it is very difficult to obtain so if one is not able to maintain the temperature uniformly what will happen uh, the fluctuation in the temperature causes the fluctuation in the melting so fluctuation in the melting uh, does not produce a uniform filament so there will be a batch to batch variation so this is there are certain advantages and there are certain disadvantages of the melt spinning process let's talk about advantages and disadvantages of dry spinning technology starting with advantages first one is it is recommended process for production of thermoset fiber thermoset is another terminology you are coming across the first time earlier you know thermoplastic so thermoplastic is nothing but when we apply heat to a polymer they gets melt but in case of thermoset polymer these thermoset polymer is nothing but when we apply a heat to those polymer they gets degraded they won't easily melt so the polymer those are thermoset in nature when we apply heat they won't get melted such a polymer is processed through a dry spinning technology so dry spinning technology is recommended for the processing of production of thermoset fibers next one is high spinning speed can be achieved but not exceeds the melt spinning limit melt spinning speed actually Melt spinning is one of the highest uh, speedy, you can say, spinning technology. But uh, comparatively, dry spinning is the second one. So dry spinning also has a high speed. So they can run to a very good speed, but not as high as melt spinning. Third advantage is lower solvent is required because of high polymer concentration in the dough. already we know the dry spinning process requires a dough preparation dough preparation means a mixture of polymer and solvent when we mix these polymer and solvent together these are called as dough so the concentration of a polymer in the dough is higher relatively uh, solvent so solvent amount is much lesser and uh, this is advantageous why because Uh, during the solidification process this little solvent can evaporate easily next advantage of this dry spinning process is dry spinning conditions can be modified according to the requirement like melt spinning it has a certain processing parameters like concentration time temperature etc when these spinning conditions altered there will be a modification takes place in the fiber properties so one can change the fiber properties by modifying uh, the spinning conditions according to the requirement the next advantage uh, in case of dry spinning is the post spinning operations are very simple so which are the post spinning operations once fibers are excluded the uh, removal of solvent by application of hot air is nothing but your 
post spinning operations stretching or drawing in is nothing but your post spinning operation right application of uh, spin finish those are the post spinning operations those are relatively simple one now let's talk about the disadvantages the process requires solvent hence solution recovery process is necessary now as all we know there is a stringent and stringent environmental laws are there so solutions need so solvent whichever used during the dope preparation that needs to be removed now during the post operation of spinning that is application of hot air the solvents get removed out into atmosphere so instead of going at into the atmosphere solvent need to be recovered so it can be further used for the next batch so disadvantage is solvent recovery process is necessary next disadvantage of dry spinning is due to the presence of solvent there is a limit of maximum spinning speed yes earlier i told you there is uh, yes dry spinning can run at the high speed but not as maximum as the barrel spinning why because uh, the solvent is there and solvent removal is necessary so removal of solvents need a time right and whenever one of the operation requires a time speed of that operation reduces so speed of the machine is also reduced so this is another disadvantage of dry spinning let's talk about the third circular cross section of filament is difficult to achieve to evaporate uh, actually circular cross section of a filament can be achieved in a melt spinning only why cannot uh, we cannot achieve the dry in the dry spinning the circular cross section of a filament because evaporation rate is higher than diffusion rate so how solidification takes place in the dry spinning dry spinning when we apply a hot air the solvent present inside the filament removes into the atmosphere now removing of this solvent into the atmosphere punctures the structure of filament and that's why the circular cross section becomes elliptical or you can say a patchy or you can say porous in a nature it not uh, it is not a perfectly a circular the next disadvantage of this process is additional post spinning re operation is required to complete removal of solvent yes relative to a melt spinning once um, in the melt spinning once filaments are uh, excreted they just cooled off and stretch these are the only two operations post spinning operations but in case of dry spinning washing is one of the post spinning operation washing is nothing but removal of solvent if certain traces of uh, solvent still present in the filament they may damage the filament so it is necessary to remove the solvent completely from the filament and that's why washing operation is necessary so relative to melt spinning washing is an additional operation that you have to perform in the dry spinning process so this is one of the disadvantage and last but not the least is getting uniform outward mass flow is very difficult as i already told you the dry spinning process uh, solidification takes place one way heat transfer other way mass transfer so uh, mass transfer complete mass transfer from uh, polymer is very difficult so that's why we need a post operation of washing Let's talk about the advantage and disadvantage of last spinning method that is wet spinning. Starting with advantage number one, this process is useful to produce a thermoset fiber. Like a dry spinning, wet spinning also useful to produce a thermoset fiber. Second advantage is lower solidification rate creates a structural development of filament. Yes, the wet spinning is having a lower speed and lower speed means this spinning space system allows a filament more time for solidification process so what is the advantages perfectly structural development next advantage is maximum strength of a filament can be achieved due to a good structural development there is a direct relation between the maximum strength of a filament and good structural development 
so as i earlier told you uh, there is a good structural development takes place because it takes a time in a solidification process and that's why maximum strength of a filament can be achieved the next advantage in case of weight spinning is weight spinning conditions can be adjusted to modify the properties of filament like the dry and melt spinning weight spinning also has certain processing conditions like concentration of coagulating bath then concentration of polymer uh, time temperature etc so these condition when fine tuned when can get a desired property of a filament next one is a low wastages as i earlier told you that this wet spinning process is low speed in k and that's why lower wastages is produced let's talk about the disadvantages process requires a solvent and solvent recovery process similar like a dry spinning process wet spinning also requires a solvent recovery process next one is spinning speed is lower yes this is disadvantage is production speed is lower relatively dry and melt spinning the circular cross section of filament is difficult to achieve due to a diffusion of solvent from the filament yes in the case of solidification process two way mass transfer takes place coagulating chemicals diffused into the fiber that's why they puncture the structure of a fiber and similarly the solvent which is present in the fiber it is coming out from the fiber so during moving out from the fiber into the atmosphere it also punctures the fiber so the structure would not be um, perfectly circular rather it is corrugated next disadvantage is additional post spinning operation is required that is washing with uh, actually washing with water or washing with any other solvent uh is required to completely uh, removal of traces of solvent generally water is used to remove solvent next is advantage is getting uniform outward mass flow is again difficult yes in the wet spinning solidification process is done by the puncturing of a structure and uh, uniform puncturing is very difficult to achieve so uniform mass transfer is relatively difficult and that's why uh, the structural development uh, that's why actually the cross section of a filament is not a circular tube 